Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is officially a football season. That usually makes our weekends a little bit more fun. I love football season because that means Fall is pretty much here. Cooler weather is coming. We get to eat a lot of good food. There's just so much goodness surrounding this time of year. So today I thought I would share with y'all three of my favorite air fryer appetizers. These are perfect if you're just at home on a Saturday and want some good party food, or if you have a party or an event, you can make these for that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip you all around. We are gonna get started, and I think I'm gonna get started making some jalapeno poppers. I want those to sit in the freezer for just a couple of minutes, probably about 15 to 30 minutes before I put them in the air fryer. So let's go ahead and let's get started on that. Okay, so to get started for our jalapeno poppers, I have two jalapenos and I am going to um, seed these and then dice them up pretty small. And then I have about four ounces of cream cheese and it is soft. And then about a half a cup to a cup of pepper jack cheese. I just shredded it. And then we're gonna use some bacon bits. Not very much, probably just a couple tablespoons. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this in a bowl and mix it together. So I'm starting off by slicing my jalapenos in half and getting all of the seeds out of the middle. And you can leave some of the seeds in if you want them to be a little bit more spicy. And then I've made my jalapeno poppers this way before where you just stop here and put your cream mixture in the middle of your jalapenos and then wrap them in bacon. And I've done it in my air fryer that way and it is super good. But my mom used to make them into little balls whenever I was a kid. So I was excited to try it this way today and so just diced up those jalapenos really small and then I'm putting them in a bowl with some cream cheese my other pepper jack cheese and then a couple tablespoons of bacon bits and I mixed it all together really well until everything is really nice and creamy make sure that your cream cheese is softened if you forget to do that and leave it out you can pop it in the microwave for about five to ten seconds and then I used about a half inch cookie scoop to scoop mine out Typically, I would use my hands, but the cookie scoop actually worked really well for this. So I just made a bunch of little balls. This probably made about 8 to 10. And then I popped these in my freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes. I think the recipe calls for it to things stay in the freezer for about 30 minutes, but I did 15 and it was fine. And of course, the full recipe is linked down below. Okay, so while those are in the freezer, I'm going to go ahead and make some buffalo chicken egg rolls. And that sounded really gross to me the first time I heard about these, but once I tried them, they were super good. Egg roll, just the word egg roll sounds so gross, but it's basically just buffalo chicken inside of a wonton wrapper. And then we are gonna put it in the air fryer and then we can dip it in ranch or whatever we want. These are so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip you all around and we are gonna get started. I'm sure you are all super familiar with your buffalo chicken base recipe. You just do about a can of that chicken, or I've seen a lot of people grill it or marinate it in the buffalo sauce. You can do it however you want, but for me, the canned chicken is easiest, and so I'm mixing that with four ounces of softened cream cheese. Again, it helps just mix everything and make it creamy if your cream cheese is soft. And then about a half a cup of buffalo sauce and a half a cup of ranch. I never measure anything, but that's that is the base recipe. Mix it all together and then I forgot to show y'all but I did throw in a handful of cheddar cheese and then I took my wonton wrappers and these were a lot smaller than I was expecting and you can add two wrappers together if you want to do that. I didn't think of that until I was almost done but I just spooned in a little bit of that mixture with a little bit of cheese and then you're going to take water around the edge of your wrappers and then kind of roll them. I am not a professional roller, but I just kind of tucked my ends together and rolled it up. Voila, there you have it. So I did quite a few of these and then I still had a lot of my buffalo mixture left over. So these will make a ton if you have the time to stay in there and do it. But I didn't want to make a ton since it was just us two eating them. And then these went in my air fryer 
at about 370 to 380 for about eight to ten minutes and one thing I forgot to show you all here in a little bit is that I did spray them really well with cooking spray anything you put in your air fryer like this you're gonna want to spray really well that way it doesn't get super dry and you want it to stay nice and moist and then it will also help it get really crispy Okay, so back to our jalapeno poppers. These only needed probably about 15 to 20 minutes in the freezer. And then I have some flour, some milk, and then some panko breadcrumbs. I did a mixture of the Italian style and regular. You can do whatever you wanna do. Also, it says to use an egg wash, but I do not have any eggs. So I hope that milk will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these batted or battered. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but get them rolled in the batter and then in the air fryer. Okay, so I'm not gonna forget this time, but I am gonna spray these with some cooking spray. You just want everything to stay moist. I hate that word, but that is what you want. Um, so it's not really dry and they'll get a nice crisp top so now I'm gonna put these in my air fryer for about 370 um, and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball them but probably seven to ten minutes Okay, so while those are in the air fryer, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on our last appetizer, and that is beer battered fried pickles, and that is such a tongue twister, but these are super simple and really good, and you can kind of mix up the recipe. I have my oven going because, um, little party tip, stick all your done food in the oven like on warm, um, that way it doesn't get cold, so. Anyways, back to my main point here, but you can use any beer and kind of whatever seasonings you want to do. Just play around with it. I don't think you can mess it up. So let's go ahead and let's get started on those. Okay, so for my ingredients, I have some dill pickles, about a cup of flour. I'm just using regular Bud Light because that's what we have. Um, and then some Crayola seasoning. I don't know how you say that, but my husband will mainly eat these and that is what he really likes. You can use like an Old Bay seasoning and that would be really good. And then just some panko crumbs. So for my beer batter mixture, you're just going to want to slowly pour in your beer to your one cup of flour. It does foam up, so that's why I say slowly. And then you're gonna want this to kind of have a pancake or waffle batter consistency. Um, you don't want it to be too thick, but you don't want it to be too thin. So here's an up close, kind of how mine was. It can, it's totally fine if there's still clumps in there, but just mix it until you get this consistency. And then you're also gonna wanna make sure to pat your pickles really dry everything I'm saying is such a tongue twister but you want to make sure that your batter and your crumbs will stick so pat those dry and then roll them in your batter and then in your crumbs and then these went in my air fryer at 380 for five to six minutes and again don't forget to spray them with cooking spray okay so here is everything I love how it's sitting on just this little serving board I need a smaller one but all of this can be dipped in ranch so I think it's perfect it's really great because I didn't do a lot but there's still a variety so this is perfect for two or three people so I have our fried pickles it could have used a little bit more um, spray they look a little bit dry but they taste good and then the jalapeno poppers are probably my favorite they did fall apart just a little bit but the taste is what matters and they taste super good and then we have our buffalo chicken wonton egg rolls whatever you want to call them they're a little bit spicy but dip them in ranch and you'll be good so this is so fun and perfect for any event i say that all the time but i really love how this one turned out I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope you got some recipe inspiration for some air fryer appetizers. Let me know down below if you're gonna make these for the next football game or for your next party or event. I love to hear from you guys. And as always, if you are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.